Raise your hand if you know what Article 13 is. And I just realized I can't see any of you if you actually raise your hand. Now that I think of it, did you actually raise your hand on the other side of the computer? Anyway, today we're talking about Article 13 and how it affects you as a photographer, videographer, editor, YouTuber, someone who shares their content on social media. The shorter answer is, no, it doesn't really affect you. Wait, are we sure the intro's not copyright? You created the intro, you idiot. Alright, so for those of you who don't know what Article 13 is, basically it was a law passed in the European Union that protects copyrighted content from being stolen. Seems pretty straightforward, right? Nobody wants their stuff stolen. Makes sense. You're a photographer, you work hard on those pictures. Some jerk is gonna steal your stuff. Not about it. Now, for example, those Instagram pages that you see where it's like a curator of all these amazing photos. Oh yeah, DM us to be featured on our site. Eh, not gonna fly anymore. These guys make tons of money featuring other people's content while the little guys are struggling to get 500 follows. <clears throat> Follow me on Instagram. Now what's happening is the actual site or the social media itself is becoming responsible for that content. So the person with the original content can sue Instagram, let's say, if some of their content's being used without their permission, which is good and bad. I mean. Somebody's using your stuff, you're gonna wanna get compensation. Now, the actual site becomes responsible for that. And the easiest way to deal with that is to just shut down the page or block the content. So, if you run one of those pages that just curates other people's content, it's bad for you. And also, f you, because you're a jerk, making all that money off of other people's hard work. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed, that's all. Now, moving over to YouTube, which is obviously a platform that I'm on, and I share my photography and my tips and tricks with you guys, this is where it kind of sucks, especially for someone like me, or like you if you want to start your channel or grow your channel. I mean, if you're just uploading full-length episodes of SpongeBob SquarePants, yeah, dude, that's copyright, and you're going to get booked for it, so maybe don't do that. But the struggle comes in a situation where like, let's say I'm trying to teach you guys how to edit a certain scene the way they did in Inception. Obviously, the best way to refer to what I'm trying to teach you is to show you that original clip. My intention is not to steal that audio or steal that video and claim it as my own, but I'm saying, guys, check out what they did in this scene. Watch how they edited this. All right, I'm gonna teach you guys how to edit that. I can't do that anymore. And that's kind of the issue that everybody's facing right now with Article 13. The minute I use a clip from that video, it now counts as copyright and my stuff gets blocked. But wait, eh? I'm from Canada and that law was in Europe. What's that about? Well, it doesn't really matter because your content's gonna get blocked in Europe regardless of where you're from. Which means if your content's getting blocked and you're trying to, you know, grow your channel, <coughs> subscribe. <coughs> Sorry, a little something in my throat. It's gonna make it more difficult for you to grow that channel if your content's blocked, obviously. Just makes sense. So, should you be worried about it? You, the guy with 10,000 followers, 1,000 followers, 24 followers, your mom just loves your Instagram, should you be worried about it? As a photographer, videographer, probably not. Ideally, you should be creating original content and showing that off. And I mean, if you're stealing other people's work and passing it off as your own, you're kind of a dick, so I don't feel that bad for you. Now, if you make a living off of memes, don't even go there because I'm not touching that with a 10 foot pole. Or if you're one of those Instagram curators, oh, follow us and slide into our DMs to be featured. Yeah, you should be a little concerned, you copyright ignoring jerk. That's basically the gist of it. I didn't get into the technical mumbo jumbo, but if you're a photographer, don't stress that much. Just keep grinding away, keep taking those beautiful photos. If they're your photos, you got nothing to worry about. If they're your videos, your original content, you literally have nothing to worry about. If anything, it's kind of better for guys like you and I who are trying to push their own original content out there. So now is the time to just grind away, get her done. I'm actually curious about what you guys think about the whole Article 13 situation. So drop those comments down below after you subscribe. So hit that subscribe button first and then comment and be like, hey Daniel, you're way off. You're actually an idiot and you don't know anything about this. Let me know, call me out on my bullshit if I'm wrong. But you know, leave those comments and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm gonna try and do this more often.
I mean, upload videos, that is, not go on rants about copyright protection and why you're safe as a photographer. <sighs> I was gonna end this video off with my favorite SpongeBob SquarePants episode, but <laughs> there goes that. Now I'll just have to sit here with a blank stare on my face, just waiting for you guys to subscribe. Creating original content is tough. Man, wish I could have just stole someone else's video for the end of this one.